Hello, today we'll speak about one of the most important hot narratives of 2024 and why projects like Suwana and Say are very important. Because it's not only Suwana Dex volume surpassing Ethereum, transaction speed and scalability in crypto. There is a new old term called parallelism. New because it's getting very hot right now and old because the tech is actually since 2018. We all know that in crypto, to make money, you have to always follow the trend. You have to always be up to date with the hot narratives and just follow them. It's not hard, but requires time and dedication. However, when you get inside the market, you will notice that there are many opportunities around and soon you will face the problem in which ones you should jump in. When you hear people say the next 100x or 50x or 10x narrative for coin, you cannot just blindly dive in. You have to evaluate the potential inside that narrative and determine if it's worth to make that allocation. The difference between hot narratives and very hot narratives is pretty simple. The hot narratives usually have just a hype catalyst behind them and often they offer just a 10x potential. Where the very hot narratives are those which have hype and usable idea slash function behind them. Therefore, ask yourself, is the narrative you are looking at providing something beneficial for crypto field or is it just a hype? Today we will cover the hottest new narrative of 2024, which everyone claims as important, but no one explains why. We will look into projects like Suwana and Say and explain why they are not just hot, but very important for the crypto field. And make sure to watch the whole video because during it, I'll reveal a soon to be released coin using the same technology, which has current X potential behind it. First, let's briefly explain why after 13 years, crypto is not yet fully adopted as payment system. Simple. Visa currently can make 65,000 transactions in a second and there is no crypto project that can do that. Even worse, before projects like Suwana and Say and similar projects using the technology parallelism, the best processing technology crypto had was Lightning Network and Ethereum. I'm not gonna talk about Lightning Network now, you can look into that and understand how it works. I'll leave a link towards a video from Coin Bureau in the description, you can look in that and just do additional research about Lightning Network. All I'm gonna say is that it's good but it's weird and because it's weird it's not adopted yet despite the fact that it's live since 2018 and I don't really see how it's going to be mass adopted if it does not work the way people are used to make their daily transactions. I might be wrong but I think people want to pay in crypto like they pay with fiat money but with crypto. Hope that makes sense. So again, briefly, how Visa and other cards work. And by the way, this is post video directly from Visa. I'm gonna also provide link. So the card holder is using its card at the Merchant or post terminal or online, whatever, creating the transaction and all the data is recorded for that transaction. The Merchant then sends the transaction data to its bank or the payment processor he is using. This message requests for authorization to get money from the card holder account slash bank and transfer them to the Merchant account slash bank. So the message is sent towards the card network for processing. For, for Visa, it's called VisaNet. Then they navigate the data to the cardholder bank. Then the bank checks the cardholder account and the available funds and approves or declines the transaction. If the funds are available in the card, then the bank answers the uh, card network. The card network answers the processor, the processor answers the merchant, and then the transaction is approved. All this happens almost instantly and that's the real time part of the process. Now, in many cases, the actual funds are not moved yet. They just exist as, as a transaction records and all the data is actually stored and will be executed somewhere in the future. And usually is as a batch transaction because there might be few of them and at some point the transaction records will be organized and processed. Then the cardholder account will be updated and the amounts for all the made transactions will be deducted from, from his account. This is very simplified, I know. Don't be rude in the comments for those who know. It's just simplified for those who don't know to understand how the cards, especially Visa, how, how they work. That's a process that can make 65,000 transactions in a second, 24-7, currently we do not have this in crypto. And before we had projects like Suwana and Say, it was even worse, but we are going there. There is light in the tunnel. Stay with me. Let's talk about Ethereum first so you can get the full picture. So Ethereum and many other similar projects are using the sequential technology. With Ethereum, we have 20 transactions per second. The speed is six minutes and the process style is sequential. 
So what that means, you make a transaction, a single transaction, and you're waiting for the block. Once the block is your know, mind uh, recorded, then your transaction passes through and you're done pretty much. And that takes long time. So to make another transaction, you have to wait for the block to be completed. You cannot scale that. It's not usable in the real world, and I'm not even talking about the fees, which are ridiculous. Therefore, we need something else. Is Ethereum going to improve? I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe the future will give Ethereum other purposes to evolve in, but currently it cannot be mass adopted. And now let's move to Solana. So with Solana, we have massive improvement. 10,000 transactions per second. The time reduced to 2.5 seconds or around that. But most importantly, the processing technology is parallelized. And on top of everything, the fees, massive drop as well. So now you're like, what the fuck is that parallelism? Don't worry. It's not complicated. It's just the same, but you can now make parallel transactions. Once the block is recorded, you're done. So it's more faster, more scalable. As I said, in simple words, you can make parallel transactions. And now you should be, hmm, okay, that's interesting. It's interesting because now crypto starts to have a chance in competing with what card companies and banks are doing. And now let's also include say in the mix. By the way, I'm gonna drop also a link regarding the parallelism explanation. So all important links are in the description. Now about say, let me open another uh, picture here. We say we have even more scalability and more speed. 20,000 transactions per second compared to the 10,000 by Solana. Speed 380 milliseconds compared to the 2.5 seconds by Solana. Again, parallel transactions. And Say also has front-running protection. And that's why projects like Solana and Say and Simur, I'll say the name Monad here, if when you're watching the video, you're late for Swan or Say, take a look at Monad. Such projects will do very good in 2024 and the next bull cycle because parallelism is not only the hot narrative, it's a must technology for crypto. So yeah, there you have it. It's not only DEXs, guys. It's, it's much, much bigger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all with the next one.